The GSI Outdoors Infinity Backpackers Mug is by far my favorite lightweight mug that I have ever tried to date. The GSI Outdoors Infinity Backpackers Mug is also a lot of words to say, so I'm probably just going to say Infinity Mug or Backpackers Mug at this point. Even though this is my favorite mug that I've ever tried in its category, it is not without its faults. So I'll be getting into those. Is it a deal breaker for me? I don't think so, but I'm going to talk about it here. Let's talk about specs first, though. <laughs> the mug itself is comprised of three different parts. You have the cup, the koozie, and the lid. We'll start with individual weights of each. Important note about the cup. On the inside, as you can see, there is markings for liquid measurement. So a cup for coffee, a cup for my just add water breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Works really well. Simple. It's a mug. Next is the Neoprene Koozie, which has a textured bottom and a nylon handle. And finally, the lid itself. See, point of note, it does have a sippy spout right here, and it's kind of nice. It will attach directly in, so won't wiggle free on you. But the way that it directly attaches is kind of with this gasket. So it is a push, sort of a seal as well as the lid itself has a gasket that goes all the way around. This is important because the way that it also goes back onto the cup itself is also by a push to seal. So it's applied pressure, not threaded. This is important. Okay, the weight of the entire mug itself uh, clocks in at 3.75 ounces. GSI advertises them as 3.5, but I weighed both of these and they are 3.75 ounces. For comparison, that is about the same weight as a standard 52 deck of cards. So what do I use the GSI Outdoors Infinity Backpackers mug for? Two main things, coffee in the morning and just add water food. This is my bowl, this is my cup, and also because it's made of polypropylene, it's practically indestructible. If I am taking a smaller lens, this is a fantastic way to be able to put an extra lens in my bag and protect it. But mainly I'm using it for coffee and food. You can use it for what you'd like. So now I kind of feel weird because I'm going to start talking about the negatives on this mug, which honestly I think is the biggest misconception that you can have about the mug itself. I can't really say too many more positive things about it. It's a mug. It's a bowl. It works and does what it's supposed to, but it does have its limitations. And I think its limitations is one of the reasons why people will rate this kind of more negatively online is because they expect that it's going to be spill proof. And to be quite honest, it's not. Here is a time lapse of pouring in boiling water into the cup and then sealing it. The steam rises up, it builds up pressure, it finds its way through the path of least resistance in through the gasket itself, compromises the strength of the gasket and the seal, and it will actually push the lid up. So over the course of time, you get a weaker seal, and if you do something like pour coffee, put the lid on, throw this in your backpack, there is a high probability this will come loose and the coffee will spill all over your stuff. So with that being said, I don't recommend putting food or beverages and transporting them. This is kind of a, you know, pour coffee, put the lid on to keep it hot, keep it sitting in one spot, take photos, walk around. You can even walk around with it in your hand. That's fine. But when you start attaching this to things and it starts kind of sitting over like this, that's when kind of bad things start happening. So this is the old one. This one is actually two years and two months old. A couple points of note. One, you can see that it's more worse for wear. The neoprene has started to come apart and fray in spaces. Just over time, the neoprene sleeve becomes loose and so does the gasket. So when you first buy the mug itself, you might be able to hold it upside down and the mug can stay in nice and, you know, pretty, pretty grippy. This is the old one. You hold it upside down and the mug comes out pretty quickly. This is a good point of time to mention a couple things about these mugs. One, I do not recommend putting a carabiner on and attaching this to your bag. We've done this before, and this is exactly what happened. We sat down, we went about 40 yards after having a snack and realized that our mug wasn't there and it actually had fallen out of the neoprene sleeve itself. So after you use these for a bit, this does become a bit loose and you can lose the mug. And ever since then, 
We throw these in our packs without food or liquid. It's in my bag, hey, don't need to worry about it. Other than that and that limitation, this is an absolutely fantastic, wonderful mug. Can't recommend it enough. Yeah, I think this works out great for anyone that wants to add a nice, reliable mug to their travel kit hiking, backpacking, gear lists, and they're super cheap. The only reason I bought another mug is because we accidentally left food in this one and smells will carry over if you don't wash them out when you get back from a trip. So it was worth it to get a new one that had a tighter gaskets and tighter neoprene sleeve after two years of pretty consistent usage. Despite the limitations of the mug itself, it's still a mug that I take absolutely everywhere with me. Can't recommend this enough. Fantastic addition for cheap to be able to add to your travel kit. Whether that's going to be hiking, backpacking, van dwelling, overlanding, camping in the backyard. I think they're fantastic. They're super lightweight. Can't recommend them enough. If you enjoyed this video, sweet. We'll see you on the next one. Woo!